feels your best. And Lulu. Oh my God, today a bevy of Netflix trailers, announcements, first reveals. Here's a new one for you, baby. What? Mm, you haven't heard of this one. No. This is one that I haven't even talked about because there's really been nothing been going on in this a comic book world of the Sandman. But yeah, Neil Gaiman Sandman is finally coming. Like, I am crazy stoked because it's got to be one of the most memorable imprints of a, like a comic book series on my head ever really yeah yeah it's it's probably top five easily one of the most impressive storylines i think in the comic book world ah yeah. i never never heard of his story uh, you never I, would have like unless i even talked about it, which i haven't because quite frankly i think the last time i read it was almost like 10 15 maybe even 20 years ago though since i read the series so in many ways it, i think i actually would look forward to watching this because it's kind of refresh or feel new again mm -hmm. but it's not a typical superhero right this ain't no like ant-man someone shrinks down or an iron man you know who uh, likes to drink and party kind of stuff this is a dark fantasy uh in terms of that sense but it's more horror, more about, uh, I'm trying to even figure how to describe it because the whole thing was just like a dream like, okay, one way to describe it. It's called Sandman because it features a character who is the essence of dreams. Oh. And there's all these different characters uh, from that realm. He has a sister, or, or, not a sister, but like another person. Like the one that the, the has, he has another series that he wrote called Death. All right. And so Death is another character in this whole series. But the way they wrote this character is really like imagine Death coming back alive again. They had to come back to live a human life, to experience what life is like, to remind Death of you know, that human existence. But death comes back alive as a young female emo kind of character. Mm -hmm. right? And it's fun. It was really fun to like see death in that kind of incarnation. Wow. Sandman, though, is, is much darker. Really? Yeah, much darker. I think, well, the series eventually evolved from horror to more like a fantasy series. But the world is and storytelling is really, really cool. Really? Yeah. I hope you like it. Uh, I, I don't know what they're going to show in this trailer. Uh, and it can very be a little short. bit teddy. <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully... If they do this right, my hope is that it'll open up this world to a lot more people and uh, and people like you who need things broken down to the simplest terms, right? So the clueless part no longer exists. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think you'll like this, actually. I okay. you'll like this. All right. Well, I'm ready. I don't know if I did any justice trying to explain this series. <laughs> I, I'm just really happy to see that they're finally making this. I think this has been a development hell for like 20 years too. Oh, like they've what? been thinking about like, yeah, we're going to make something from it. And then it just starts, stop, starts, starts. Like it just never has come to Netflix, ballsy as they are, wow. is taking everything that looks like it's impossible to adapt and they're adapting it. Why not? Mm, yeah, when you got billions of dollars to blow, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. All right. By the way, if you want some cool commentary, check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show with mm. my OnlyFans. Now that's a dream. Mm -hmm. Very dreamy. Mm. Not too dark. Nightmare. <laughs> I... All right. And away we go. Tonight, we will achieve what no one has even attempted. We will summon and imprison death. This is right from the coin beginning. Made from a stone. Here and I give you a feather. Pulled from an angel's wing. Here I give you the blood Here from my vein. Here we summon you together. Shoot. Ah! Looks Death good. As family, desire, destiny, despair. Which well, you didn't I get go? death. Dream. <laughs> You're gonna need all the help you can get. Oh my god. Oh, that's it? Dude, he looks creepy as hell. Who is this guy who's playing Dream? He got that cheekbone, yeah, that I know. stare. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he <laughs> looks creepy as F. All right, man. Who, who's playing this guy? I, I want to know now. Tom Sturridge. Who's that? Yeah, I don't know. Star <laughs> Sturridge. Okay. Uh, all right. Sorry. I, I don't know who he is. We're going to. Um, wow. And he looks so different. Yeah. In real on life. A photo he looks very different than what they made him look at. I think that in my mind, if they were going to get someone to play Dream, I was thinking of someone like, you know, Adam Driver, right? Because he's kind of got that creepy emo undertone kind of look. Yeah. Right. Because well. this guy in real life, 
does not look like what they just portrayed on. Like you talk about wow. some good makeup and they some probably, good acting. No, like they probably toned him up, skinnier but toned, so that the bones basically will... put him on the death diet. <laughs> Don't eat. No. <laughs> no, he looks pretty skinny here, actually. All right, all right. No, but so, he's so, really toned. It's not. I mean, if you're a fan of his, let me know. Like, what has he done here? Because uh, I'm looking at his. Uh, Filmography here, Velvet Buzzsaw, haven't heard of it. Mary Shelley, mm, haven't seen him play that. Remainder on the road. No idea who the F this dude is, mm. which is uh, actually going to be refreshing. Because yeah, I don't is, know what to expect. Yes, it's better. It's better. It, yeah, yeah. He's going to either make or break it. I mean, he has to. He's a central character. I, I don't know how they're going to play this because it's really hard to describe the personality that comes across. Now you make me so curious. I probably have to read more about this movie. Um, there's a comic book series. You can read it. But the series ran pretty long, actually, because I, I don't know if they were initially planning to think of it that long term of a series. I think there's maybe like 75 issues before they eventually stopped because the, the whole feel of it really changed. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it the, the way they were going to change it. But they were very good at introducing new story elements and new characters into that in that universe. They made you mm -hmm. like, all right. What's this about? What's this about? So you kept right. reading it. I mean, you could tell here, like, he looks menacing. He looks creepy. He looks like he's effing pissed. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think I'm going to give anything away here by stating this, but... <laughs> he's pissed. They wake him up. <laughs> oh, they didn't just wake up. They captured him. <laughs> oh, my so God. So they basically were able to summon him and then capture yeah. him for, I forget how long, like 50-some years or something like that. So imagine this eternal being. He's been around for like been just captured, and he's you know he's he's finally he's kind of got a cruel sense of uh, he's a very cruel character, really dark. And suddenly you're humbled by the fact that maybe I'm stuck here, right? Kind of thing. Let's just say he eventually does escape, and then all hell breaks fucking loose. But he wakes up going like not going like yeah, I'm gonna just seek my revenge and just wrath of the world. He's like, you know what? I, I got to go back to my kingdom. And uh, his kingdom is like it's just gone all sh off the shit. It's sort of like imagine coming back to your house for after like a, <laughs> ten years, and you're like, "Fuck, everything's a mess." Right. And uh, it's a more of a humbled version of him, uh, like that kind of develops the a more human side of it. It's mm. it's really interesting because it goes into like sense of like what his response, what his responsibility was, versus like the cruelty of what he sort of reveled in in his responsibility, huh. and how that's changed, and how there's imprisonment. It, it's a yeah, good question. Really, really Why is his character named Dream? Because that is, he's basically personification of Dream. It looks like they were trying to summon death. And I don't remember if that was always the case, but death is also a, a, a like, represents death, right? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, what were the other ones? Despair. He had so many. So there's other endless ones, as they're called. So there's destiny, death, desire, despair, delirium, destruction. All right. So, He's basically one of seven endless characters. Um, think of them as all powerful, like you know, typical Marvel universe. When you got Thanos, it goes yeah. beyond that. They may be more like you know the Eternals kind of characters, uh, right, or the Celestials kind of thing. Um, powerful beings, greater than gods, and he is in essence the personification of you know your dreams, dream. your nightmares, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So it has a lot of the kind of ethereal sort of dreamy quality to the whole comic book. Art style is just really, it's really, really cool, actually. Wow. It's unlike anything you'd normally seen, so. Interesting. I want to know more.